So hello, welcome to my channel guys. My name is Morphe Stockson and I am a witch based in India. So today we are going to be discussing the part of how to becoming a, a dark magician and what is the archetype of the hunter. So before we get started into this thing, I want to give a little bit of explanation about myself. Who am I? So you know where you are getting this information from. So I am a witch based in India. My name is Morphe Stockson and I am an initiate of the Kabbalistic arts. I am a magician that is based with the Sephiroth and the Clifford. I am also an initiator of the runes. I'm also, however, a magician who works with infernal spirits primarily. And I'm also an initiate of the runes, the Tarot and the Nordic witchcraft traditions. So before we get started into everything, I want to discuss a few things about magic and so we can understand what chaos and darkness actually is. So before we get started, I want to first give a, a shout out to BEP20, Anita Rogers, as well as Robert B for supporting me in my work and for being my top tier 3 patrons and for helping me in my work. If you want to get a shout out before the start of every video, you can join my Patreon at tier 3, which is less than $1 a month. Or $1 a day for a month. Yeah, my bad. I'm also doing a few ritualistic courses on my Patreon. If anybody wants to watch those, so I'll see you there if you wish to go there and talk with me and learn from me. So, before we get started, let's first understand what is chaos. Chaos itself is the underbelly of reality. Our own universe is made from chaos. The chaos that we find, the chaos that we see, is from the beginning of the universe. The universe was created with chaos. The eternal realms of darkness itself came from chaos. Chaos itself is the primordial seed of creation. It is the first power that ever was. It is what is creation without any bounds. It is what is called unbridled potential of reality. Chaos and its multiple epithets refer to the power of eternal powers. It is what is creating a world and what is destroying it. A modern world which is just a bit of a part of the divine realm but it's mostly the physical chaotic world is primarily in the chaos realm however recently we have been going through shifts and we are becoming much more a spiritual species our planet is becoming very much non-physical in the way that we are understanding our own selves and it will raise our vibrations soon enough a black magician, on the other hand, while a person would be about unity, a black magician is the emissary of chaos itself. So first, learn, let's learn about chaos itself. So in every culture that you learn about, in multiple religions, in Aztec, in Hindu, and Sumerian, we learn about the idea of the primal beast, or the primal creation, which was killed by the gods and its body became the universe and humanity became its blood or its blood became humanity. So what do I mean by that? So the thing is that the universe is made up of chaos and the first beast which is sometimes referred to as Ymir, Tiamat, Purusa was the first creation before creation. It was the first creature that fell from heavens and it created the modern world. And the chief god, Yahweh, Marduk, and anyone else, tore up the beast and created reality in their image by destroying the deity. And you might be wondering, then, is it something bad? Yes, it is, because humanity is not from Earth, and those deities are not the true creators, and they are not the true spirits. They are merely imitators of reality because they have imitated reality those spirits those ideals are the ideals of a 
creator who creates from things that are already there but only the true divine being can create without anything however that is also questionable because god itself is eternity so one cannot create anything out of outside of eternity because eternity itself is god universe is a very interesting thing because while the mortal universe that we find ourselves in is just an imitation of the higher realms we are still bound to it we are still bound to the spirits and the energies that connect us through the mortal world as well as a world above and while a person who is light walking and who is a positive person who wants to bring balance and bring happiness to everyone they they refuse from the darkness they hide from the darkness they only seek the light which is a wrong thing to do uh, a black magician on the other hand is a emissary of chaos they are a person who has chosen darkness they have chosen the art of destruction despite the fact that they have light as well see the part of magic itself is that creation and destruction go hand in hand you cannot destroy or you cannot sorry create anything without destroying for something beforehand for example if you're a gardener you will see that in order to grow a plant you need to trim out the shrub sometimes so it can grow taller and stronger that is the thing you need to destroy old bushes dead things to create a new reality that's why we have purges that are happening recently those purges referred are basically plagues and destructive accidents which destroy people or creatures that do not have a place in the modern world anymore they are right now sent on to another place another realm where their destiny is to be fulfilled however our modern world itself is just a poor imitation of the other realms so while a person may leave this world and go to another realm they cannot always do that because sometimes one needs to come back here learn from the very imperfect world to perfect their own soul because the soul needs darkness and light to go forward a person is either chooses in the previous life or in the astral life whether they will become a light person or a dark person their entire energy body shifts into that and however there is a thing for that is a problem for a lot of people it is that a person cannot evolve to the higher states other, unless they understand light and dark before they choose anything one can become a black magician and evolve as well as a white a white magician can evolve the difference between both of them is that they have chosen different things however one needs to understand the opposites before they can evolve to the higher realms that's why a magician who primarily works with light but refuses darkness will never evolve further than this duality world because they do not understand the happiness and love that is gained from destruction and they will not understand the happiness or the chaos and anger that is gained from creation itself there are multiple reasons for that and i will be explaining those on a patreon if you join it in a few weeks however one must first understand chaos itself and how it works before we go on and do anything the dark mother is the figure that is most probably seen in the modern world every culture that works with darkness venerates the dark mother and the dark mother is the primal beast the babylon the whore of babylon or the woman who rides a beast the scarlet woman or even the dark mother hecate kali they are the emissaries and venerations of the dark mother archetype which we see most often in the modern world and every god every god is duality every god is androgynous because if you summon a deity today and a deity different day they can shift between forms shiva transformed into a woman i have seen aphrodite transform into a male there are duality and even shiva i'm using him as an example shiva once was the destructor god the figure or destruction and he was also the protector and the creator he was orion as well and i will be explaining that in a bit shiva or the idea of shiva is very much dependent on the feminine ideals shiva without shakti is just a shop 
which is a corpse that is a really deep meaning because unless a person is enlightened with darkness and light or with the masculine and the feminine they cannot evolve they are just a corpse they are useless and that is why deities hate those who become who become subservient or they become basic corpses because they refuse to evolve further you can make mistakes you can fucking make mistakes and people need to hear it because mistakes allow for growth the idea that you cannot make mistakes is just an idea and a conspiracy to keep humanity down because humanity needs to learn from mistakes and they need to make mistakes every single atrocity that has happened in the world is needed for everyone to evolve further we need conflict we need chaos to evolve further as species that's why the part of a black magician is very important because a black magician is a person who becomes the chaos that allows for the world to grow because chaos itself cannot manifest in the world and so cannot light because everything there must be a balance for everything there must be a balance and chaos itself just like light needs avatars to create into the world while avatars of light come forth to bring forth healing and to bring forth light and creation they cannot come forth unless there is destructive forces and that is why there must be satan who will release from hell to destroy earth there must be antichrist before christ can come before christ can come there must be the arrival of kali in hinduism who will destroy humanity before kalki can come and recreate world because there must be darkness before light can come there must be destruction before light can come and black magicians are the avatars of destruction and the forces of chaos a black magician a true black magician is a hunter he is the archetype of the orion the orion refers to the force of the hunter the hunter who hunts the beast he is gilgamesh he is the force of destruction a archetype of the dark figure who rides the axe he is parshuram he destroys worlds he destroys the realms but he walks the path of the dharma he walks the path of truth which is the concept that everybody has their own place their own game to play the entire world is a fucking play we all have our own parts to play in this and a black magician knows this they become the destruction they become a black mark on the humanity's forehead to allow for recreation to happen a black magician knows that their purpose is to destroy or be slayed but in the end what becomes again is the idea of rebirth because a black magician must live on for years and years because a black magician purpose is to sow chaos into the world a black magician's aura itself imbues chaos outside of themselves and chaos allows for all the shifts to happen there are few black magicians who must be born to destroy the world to bring on the apocalypse so new life can grow however they are far in between all the other black magicians are in this world to understand duality to understand light and darkness so they become their own form they can choose a polarity that they feel close to for a black magician the true world is nothing but a fable fantasy humanity needs to learn from multiple sources to become its own divinity and for that a black magician is needed because they allow for chaos to happen once a person becomes a black magician their inner aura changes they become chaotic people start leaving them people start to hate them but that is needed because that allows for them to gain more power and evolve further and bring on more chaos because chaos is needed to basically re-energize the world because he also breeds power and power breeds subservience a subservience brings revolt and revolt brings peace there must be a cycle otherwise reality cannot go on and that is the path of a black magician the true path of the hunter when a black magician becomes a hunter they destroy everything and everyone in between but they also spare those who are needed that's why a black magician can love a black magician can have happiness because they are playing a part they need to bring forth chaos however they also need to act as a human the new they need to act as humanities because savior as well that's why jesus itself is archetype of the black magician as well as the archetype of the light magician because jesus christ and humans 
humanity all come forth as duality conforming into single thing the truth about the black magician's path is that of chaos we must bring chaos into the life of others however we also must bring chaos into the life of ourselves to evolve further and further so we can reincarnate in our own desired world or we can evolve further and become deities in our own way and that is the truth of black magicians you know there's nothing much more aware from that and a person who is black magician and watching this might be wondering so am i evil or chaotic no a person is never evil there is a path for everyone to play chaos itself has a need to come out of the world and you can bring happiness you can bring people love there is a part you know even kali who is supposed to be the most darkest of dark entities is not evil a person such as duryodhana in hinduism i'm bringing examples of hinduism because hinduism has really great stories that are still left alive after the era of christianity and islam duryodhana despite being a very immoral being a being of destruction he first went to heaven before they went to hell because they have done good things everyone has their own life they must bring chaos as it's a part of a life that is a part of reality they must bring chaos because that is the role that they need to play however that does not mean that they do not need to help others they need to allow for everything to happen don't don't get it twisted. I, I'm not saying that a black magician is an evil person. That they, they need to become, oh, I'm the predator. I'm gonna eat people. I'm gonna fucking fuck kids. No. You have a walk, walk to play. You have a play to just act. But that does not mean that you need to become an evil person. That does not mean that you need to become an emissary of evil, you know. And evil, the way I'm saying evil, it's not darkness it's it's vile acts that harm other people's spiritual ascent which is the true part of freedom you can do it but it is not going to bring you any closer to divinity you're going to come back and you're going to be worse than now because there is punishment to everything that you do there is reward there is punishment and both are the same thing for a person the reward is a punishment for example for a person death and after that darkness is a reward for others it's just punishment and that is true freedom because everyone has a freedom to do whatever they want but that will not bring them closer to their own higher self which is supposed to be the goal of everyone who lives in the world and that is why people have rules in the religions the commandments are placed to get you closer to divinity and that is truth that i'm saying here right now and this i don't think many people will say because this is something that only a few people know about this is the part of the black magician's world. They need to work harder. They need to work hard. They need to manifest and bring chaos. However, they also need to become their own gods and have a fulfilling life. They need to bring love. They need to act as the emissary of love and happiness to their own universe. So how can we become emissaries of our own love and light and destruction at the same time? A person who chooses the path of a black magician in order to stay on the path of karma and dharma needs to first bring peace and happiness to others. They first need to understand what they are. For example, in the Hindu caste system, which is, I'm saying caste because that's not how it's supposed to be. In the Hindu caste system, there everyone has their own purpose. Like every, every job that you do, you need, you have a purpose. For example, if you are if you are much more like a salesman, you have a business, right? For example, let's go with that. You will be, you will have your own dharma that you need to follow. If you marry someone, you will have your own dharma, which is what you need to do. A person who works with demons and spirits, they also have their own dharma, which is to offer the spirits things in return for their help because we are building relationships with them. A person who marries someone, they need to look at their significant other, the partner, and they also need to look into their lovers as 
friends and allies in this. They need to help them, they need to support them and then do other things because that is a vow that they have taken. A businessman will need to help and support their employees. They need to help and let them grow and give them happiness for working with you. That is your dharma now because you are taking control of lives of people. You know, that is also a true path of dharma. You also have other things such as the dharma of religion. A person, if a person asks of you something, you have a choice to give them something or in return not to give them. When a person asks me, when a beggar asks me for something, it's my choice if I want to give them money or what. And that is what you need to go through. A person needs to give away to the world because they are taking things as well. When a person is acting as a force of chaos, they also have their own microscopic world that they need to care about, which is the society, their people, their friends, their family. And that is how we balance things. You can be a generous person who lives, who gives donations to charities, who gives people money when they need it. They help people get away from dangerous situations by giving them place of staying because they have people who wish to harm them. But they can also become a black magician and bring chaos into the world because that is the purpose that their soul has chosen. You have a higher purpose and a moral purpose, you know. The higher purpose is basically chaos and love and light. And your, phys your moral purpose is like what you need to do to uh, basically become a productive member of society and your own, you know, people, your own lovers, you know, family, you know, there, there are Oh, there are laws that a person must do because you know that's that's what a good person does you know you might be evil and fucking as you magician but you need to help people yeah you don't need to but yeah that will give you bonus points uh, and at this point i think i have exhausted what i need to talk about right now because i don't think that there is anything else that i need to discuss with you all you know, every person at this point, I've explained everything that you need to know if you want to become a black magician. You need to unlock your black flame, which is the energy of chaos that lives within you. And if you want to, you can uh, ask of me because I have a ritual that is going on about unlocking the black flame that I'm doing for really cheap, $30 for a person. Uh, I'm also planning on working on a few things that I want to put out on my Patreon. A few courses on making a person unlock their higher self really easily. And I hope that everyone can work hard and understand the true path of the Black Magician. So that they do not get distracted by others. So I will see you guys later in my next video then. So I hope everybody has a good day. I hope everybody is happy and at peace and just understand what i said and choose your own dharma and focus on it and choose your polarity you can be a you don't have to be a black magician you can be a light magician as well but you will have different rules to perform them so i will see you guys in the next video then goodbye have a great day take care guys i will see you later bye